Hey family, so I told you guys that I would show you how I make the two ingredient biscuits and the mackerel. So let's get started. Take me arms, do just what you want. You're the one I trust. I belong, I belong to you. And I always be around. This is actually cast iron, okay? So I just sprayed it with butter spray. So what you do is you take, I'm making a small batch, so I'm going to get one cup of flour and one cup of sweet cream, uh, whipping cream, and then I'm going to stir that. Now, it says one and one, but as you see this, you know you're going to have to add a little more flour to get it how you want it, so... So I'm going to say one cup and one tablespoon. Now just to add to the butter flavor, I'm going to add some room temperature butter. This is two tablespoons. You could have made it with just the two ingredients, the flour and the cream, but we want these to be nice, buttery and delicious. So. Gonna add a little bit of butter. Okay, right here I'm just flattening out the dough to carve out the biscuits. Donald and I like flat biscuits. We don't like them big. So if you like big fluffy biscuits, then you want to go ahead and double the recipe. Granny Karma Homestead is where I got the recipe from. And it calls for two flours and two um, milks. And so here I can never find my cookie cutter when I need it. So I used a <laughs> coffee cup. And so right here, I'm just going to put them in the oven. I put it on 400 degrees. It depends on your oven. 15 to 20 minutes, I would just watch them. And right here, I'm just brushing on the butter. We love butter. These are the best biscuits I've ever eaten. You can see here we have that cookie crust bottom. I mean, look at that. You know how your sugar cookies look when they're soft and moist? That's the bottom that you get. And I'm telling you, these biscuits are just so delicious. You won't regret making them. So here, fresh out the oven, piping hot. And of course, my husband wants more butter. Hey, family, I just saw Peggy set up my biscuit with the extra butter white that I like so much. So let me test this out. She said, don't burn yourself, but I'm not waiting. <laughs> Boy, we talking about rich. This is nice. Is it? This is nice. All right. This is perfect. And I'm from South Carolina, so I know biscuits. Yeah, you know mm. biscuits. That. Okay. Mm. I'm going to eat all. How many biscuits you got, baby? One. Okay, so she having one, so I'm gonna have the other six. No, you're not. I'm gonna have five of the other six. No, you're not. Mean. <laughs> Baby, for real. I'm gonna have a friend to have me at least two more biscuits. They good. Best biscuits ever? Best biscuits ever. Great goodness. And the bottom is even better. <laughs> you gotta make them a little thicker next time. Mm -mm. Nope. nope.
All right, family, so we're going to start with the mackerel now. So what I do is I just get the mackerel and pour some of the juice off of it. Don't be like me, y'all. That was very messy. All right. And some people like to cook it with the bone in, but I'm going to take my bones out. Okay. Slide right out. Mm -hmm. Perfect piece. This is the mackerel that I'm using, okay? Right here, I'm just breaking up the big pieces because you don't want them to be too chunky, unless you like it that way. Okay, here I am using a tablespoon, but I only used not even half of that salt. So it's a teaspoon, not a tablespoon, because mackerel is salty by itself. Just want to make that correction. Now, while I was doing this, my grease is on the stove getting hot. You want it to be hot. Okay, so let's come on over and get these babies fried up. Now, I normally like to make my mackerel spicy, so when I'm not making it for Donald, I will put in some Cajun seasoning or red pepper flakes. And as you can see here, I'm just taking a big spoon and just getting a loaded spoonful and putting it in the grease. That's why you have to make sure it's piping hot. And as you see, it forms a nice crust. They're gonna be crispy on the outside, but they're nice, moist, and juicy on the inside. And I know you guys are cringing at that plastic spatula, but I could not find my metal spatula at that time. But one can of mackerel will yield you at least six to seven nice size patties. Hi fam. Here are the mackerel coquettes. Peggy has served me up a couple of them. They are golden brown. And another one of those incredible biscuits. They're super hot right now. Is it still sizzling? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Again. See, I'm not even a, a, a fish eater, but the last two or three times you made these, 
perfect. This is the best breakfast. I ain't even gonna put no extra butter on this one. So I was gonna give him eggs this morning, but as you can see, he could not wait. Thank you for watching. I hope somebody will attempt to make these biscuits and mackerel. You're going to love them. If so, would you please thumbs up, like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you as a part of the Pig and Don family. <laughs> Thank you. God bless. Have a great day. Bye-bye.